Catch it not reporting here, what's going on everyone? In this video, we'll be unboxing and giving you a quick demo of the TV2 HDMI media streaming dongle. TV2 is an HDMI media streaming dongle that lets you stream media wirelessly using your Wi-Fi network. In simple words, this device can be plugged into any display that has an HDMI port like your television and it can stream online media like YouTube. You can control this device using any smartphone, a desktop or laptop. It can also stream offline media like photos, videos and music stored on your smartphone, desktop or laptop. If you have been following this channel, about a year back I unboxed the Google Chromecast and just a quick update, I have been using the Google Chromecast a lot and for a long time now and I simply love that device as it does what it says and it does it perfectly. So I am also interested in comparing the TV to HDMI dongle with the Google Chromecast. Anyways, taking a look at the box, on the front the box says India's favorite streaming stick. I'll have to see if it becomes my favorite or not. To use the TV2 dongle, you'll have to download the TV application which is available for almost every platform out there. So you can basically use the TV device if you have an Android phone, iPhone or Windows phone. Also, the TV app is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and you can download a plugin to control TV2 from your Chrome web browser on your PC as well. The MRP mentioned on the box is 2,399 Indian rupees. We have also got some customer care details mentioned on the back side of the box. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the contents inside the box. After breaking the seal, the first thing we get inside the box is the TV2 HDMI dongle itself. It feels lightweight in hand. Then we have a HDMI extender cable. The cable is included as if you have problems connecting the dongle directly into the display, you can plug the dongle on the female side of the cable and plug the male end into the display. Then we get a USB to micro USB cable for powering up the TV2 dongle. The micro USB end of the cable goes into the TV2 dongle and the USB end goes into the USB port of, the, uh, of your display. If in case the USB port of the display does not provide sufficient power to the dongle, we also get an external Indian pill board adapter for power uh, that's included inside the box. And we also have a let's get started guide which you won't have to read because we'll show you how to set up this device. Talking about the design and the build quality of the dongle, this is how the dongle looks like. On the front we have the TV branding, on the left we have a micro USB port for power and a record hole. I don't know how and what it will be used for but uh, we'll test it. Under the hood the TV2 packs a dual core 1.6GHz ARM Cortex A9 processor along with 1GB DDR3 RAM and a quad core GPU to handle HD video. We have got many vent holes on the bottom and the sides of the dongle. I guess they are for proper ventilation so that the dongle does not heat up. The build quality of the dongle seems okayish. When we compare the design and the build quality of this dongle with the Google Chromecast, the Google Chromecast is heavier than the TV2 but feels much more solid and of much better build quality than the TV2. Also the size of the Chromecast as you can see is smaller than the TV2. But I guess it should not matter much as these dongles would be plugged at the back of the display. What is going to matter is the experience. Let me now show you a quick demo of the TV2 dongle. Okay, It's preparing content now. Okay, uh, so the TV app has been started and as you can see we can see a lot of YouTube videos, TV shows. Uh, these are Indian TV shows. Uh, we can also see the phone files. So let me just try uh, playing a YouTube video. Okay, let's see. Definitely the TV app is taking a little bit long time to search. Okay, there we go. Uh, it has... I've searched the video. This is the Meizu M1 Note unboxing and quick review. Let me just play it. So it's playing on the TV. And let me focus here. Okay. 
so it's playing the video now in full screen let me lower down the volume volume control work great as you can see the quality is also very good so it can play youtube videos easily as you can see i can uh, remotely control the video okay so here are the controls So there you go, I just skipped the video a little bit. I can pause the video, play it again. Yes, it's buffering now. Stop the video and there you go. So that's the TV home screen again. So let's not try playing some videos that are stored on this device. Uh, that are local, that is local content stored on this device. So phone files. We can play videos, photos and music. Let me play some videos first. And let me search for, okay, there's a video. And let me hit play. So it's currently streaming from the Wi-Fi network. There you go. The video started pretty quickly and the quality seems very good. It's a slow motion video, so you can see the quality is really nice. Actually, the Wi-Fi router is really near me. So it's really near the TV dongle and the video quality looks fine. I'll uh, try playing some music from the device itself. So let's try playing some music. Let's see. Okay, so it started pretty quickly and the audio quality seems nice. And we can also control the volume. I'm controlling the volume from the volume rockers on the phone. Let me try pausing the music. So I paused it. Again played. Paused. And play. As you can see, it's pretty nice. The response time is nice. Uh, the remote response time when we pause and play stuff and when we control the volume. So that was a quick demo of TV uh, dongle. I feel the... Uh, the volume control is very nice it quickly uh, the response time is really nice uh, which was not there in google chromecast when i tried controlling the volume it was a little bit slow but uh, yes the tv app does take some time to load videos like youtube videos which the chromecast did not take that much of time uh, but i'll i'll test this more and i'll come up with a full review and uh, maybe some more uh, tutorial videos on this tv dongle so anyways, thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, hit the like button down below and if you found it helpful, also please do uh, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet uh, to this channel and thanks for watching.